Hey, welcome to So Awkward. It's me, Don. And I'm Jester. Today we're talking about The Walking Dead, episode 6 of season 5, Consumed. I took notes again, which turned out to be pointless because nothing really happened. But we finally got Daryl. We finally got Daryl and Carol. And I was thinking their, their cute couple name could be Daryl or Carol. You get it? That's perfect. So what did you think of <laughs> Consumed? I really enjoyed it. I realized nothing really happened. But they're fun to watch. I'll tell you my opinion. Too little, too late. If this episode had aired two or three weeks ago, I would have loved it. But, because I, I would have been more forgiving of the fact that nothing happened. Like, it wasn't a bad episode by any means. But it felt like filler. Like, we're... When is the end of the... When is the mid-season break? There's two episodes left. And nothing has happened in the whole season. No, nothing has happened. <laughs> like, if you were to make a timeline of this season, it would just be all over the place. Like, we've had prequels, prequels within prequels. Yeah. Sequels to things that happened a month ago. And then, like, when's the, we saw Rick for two seconds in a flashback. Yeah. It's the first time we've seen him in, like, a month. Right? Because he wasn't in last week's episode. I don't think he was in the week before that. But, I mean, it was entertaining. Although some of it was boring. I still say that Melissa McCarthy... What's her name? Martha Martha McBride. (laughs) Melissa McBride? She's got... Now I'm I'm questioning that. I think she's going to get nominated for an Emmy. She should. They have to nominate somebody eventually. She's really good. Yeah. Uh, We saw Everybody Hates Chris again. I wrote down in my notes... Punked by Chris. He, he punked him. Is that the right term? Sure. That was pre- He did a pretty good job. Like, uh, he ambushed him. He did the thing where he cut open the zombies yeah. to make his escape. He was he was good. I like I like seeing him again. That was I give, him, give him props for that one. So we can assume that he's the one in the woods with Daryl, right? I still don't know. Who knows? Who knows? How far back was that? A month? Three episodes ago? Three or four episodes ago? Or do you mean in terms of the, the storyline? No, the story? I mean how many episodes? But like, how long have we been watching and we still don't know who was in the woods? Well, they've at least had the, the Slab Town episode where we saw Beth in the hospital. Then there was last the flashback episode. And I think there was another episode in, the, in between there. So we're, we're on at least three weeks of not knowing. Yeah. I'm assuming it's Chris. My first note was another goddamn flashback. My second note is season is really dark. Brackets, literally. Like last se- last episode, this episode, there are whole scenes where I can't see anything. Yeah. It's so dark. Uh, kind of bored. I wrote down. Punked by Chris. The book Daryl dropped was called Treating Survivors of Childhood Abuse. What is that? Remember he dropped a book? Mm-hmm. Was that is he a survivor of childhood abuse? Is Beth? Is he just is he been carrying that around since season one? I didn't understand that. What was that about? I don't know. That seems an odd textbook to be carrying around. Yeah. Car scene. Epic. Where they went off the bridge. I thought yeah. that was really awesome. That was exciting. That was really good. And then when, after they landed, then there's like a moment and then uh, all the zombies start falling on top of them. That was really cool. Carol wasn't faking. Right? Right. She's legitimately... She got hit by a car. She got hit by a car. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so you steered me wrong on that one, Jester. Sorry. I took a kill count. I don't know why. Carol had five kills. Zombie kills. Daryl had nine. 
on screen kills. There were more kills like you heard sounds. But that's that's a pretty good kill count for Daryl. <laughs> and I also drew a little picture of him. Because <laughs> I got bored. What else do you have to say about consumed? I'm just really glad we got to see these two. They're great actors, great characters. I like that they're in a city again. I'm not saying city is better than country, but it's, it's it, different. It looked scary. When they were out trying to get into that building, I was afraid for them. I really liked the zombies in the tent. That was really creepy. I thought it was quite funny. Well, funny, but also creepy. So hopefully, is this is the mid-season going to end with the group all reunited? Or is it going to end with them? Because I don't even, I don't know what to, I don't know what, I, don't I can't, know. I don't understand I don't how know. they're plotting the season. All of our guesses have been wrong. We thought it would be about all about Terminus, then they got out of Terminus in episode yeah. one. And then we thought it would be something to do with, like, what's going on with the church? Wow. Um, <laughs> Nothing. We thought the whole series would be about going to Washington. Uh, say they're not nope. going to Washington. Nope. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this was a good episode. I liked it. I just... I, I want the group back together. Next week. All right, we need a closer. I have the last word. That'll do.